All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So now the evolution of the, well, let's say the economical build, the budget three-gun build. We've got our gas block. We've got our gas tube. We've got a barrel done. We are accurized, and we are ready to go. So the next step is we want to talk about muzzle brakes. That's a, a dear subject to me because I've bought just about every damn muzzle brake there is out there. And there's a couple different ones that a lot of people, well, there's a difference between competition muzzle brakes and flash hiders, uh, other things. Let me see here. Uh, so say for instance, this Lantac Dragon, this is a great comp, but is it a competition style muzzle brake? Well, you could use it, but I'm going to tell you something. Pretty much nothing that I've ever seen will hold a candle to this guy right here. This is the SJC comp. And I, I, I could say that a little while ago, but in all honesty, uh, I can't say it anymore. And the reason being is because of this guy right here. Now, let's just go ahead and I'm going to tell you for a economical budget build, the muzzle brake of choice that I'm going to choose is this guy right here. This is the Jerry Mitchell style muzzle brake three chamber with the uh, ports in the top. Uh, this thing has been around for a very long time and honestly, it will do a great job. I've used it in competition on several occasions. And I'm going to go ahead and say that for a budget build, there's nothing wrong with this guy right here. Now, there are several others out there that uh, are very well suited, but this one pretty much fits the bill. And, guys, honestly, it looks good. Look at that. Because sometimes, please, please time perfectly. Okay, so we got to go around about... Uh, two-thirds of a turn. This guy right here will do everything that I need to do for a competition upper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install this. We'll wrap it around where the vertical chambers are going up. At the end of the day, one of the things I want to do, and we're going to do an independent video on this guy right here. This is the Ultradyne Apollo S. And guys, like I said, man, I uh, am and was a huge fan of this guy right here. Always will be. This is one of the baddest Mamma Jamma uh, muzzle brakes of all time. This is a titanium. This was given to me by my good friend, SoCal, WTF SoCal. As you can see, they pretty much line up. But let me show you this guy right here. Let's go ahead and bring the camera in. This is the Ultradyne. And uh, this is one of two that I am testing out currently. The other one is the Apollo Max, which is actually going to go on the DMR setup whenever we get that done. And I'm really looking forward to putting this thing to use. So let's go ahead and bring the camera in. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this thing. Here we go. Okay, so this is the Ultradyne. This is the American Ingenuity Apollo S. And this is the compensator for the 223556. They also make them specifically for the 308 as well as the 65 Creedmoor. But I'm going to tell you something. I put this thing on the DMR rifle. I actually believe it was the Apollo S. Uh, and this one was sitting at home. So I took this off of the DMR rifle because I want to run it on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and pull it out and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, which makes this thing a little bit more unique than, yeah, this has actually been shot. <laughs> okay, so in comparison, let me just tell you, in three gun, you, your muzzle brake can't exceed more than three inches or in length or th one inch in diameter. Look at this thing. Look at those chambers right there. Let me pull that up so you can see it. This thing's got one, two, three, four, five chambers that are angled back, very similar to what you see here on the SJC right there, except this is three. They're very large, as well as one of the things that really I think is going to make a difference, and that is these two little guys right here. And what it does is it keeps your vision clear. So if you're looking through a scope, you don't have gases coming up and creating a whole bunch of crap. These things shoot it up to the side right here. Now, what we will do here probably this week, I'm going to take some regular 5.56, 55 grain, and I'm going to put it on my bench kind of thing. We're going to pull the trigger, and we'll see who slides back the furthest. You know, the typical Jeremy S. Truth About Guns test. <laughs> now, here's another thing that I really like about it. I wish, look at the edges of that barrel. It utilizes a timed uh, reverse nut. So you don't have to worry about timing like you do on this guy. 
where I'm going to actually have to get a screwdriver, yank it through it, and turn it and measure it vertically. But all you have to do, you take, and this right here has a, like a cup, and it will actually thread on here, just like that, and it's going to cover up any kind of things or whatever. Then you're going to put the bushing on, actually leave the bushing on the muzzle brake, okay? And then all you're going to do is twist this thing on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take an opposing wrenches and you're going to tighten these things up against one another and you're done. Look at that. That is the Apollo S. And look at those chambers, man. That thing is just ready to go. And what we'll do, I'll go ahead. Actually, just it's pretty much done. Uh, I'll go ahead and when we do the comparison and the full-blown review of this muzzle brake. I wanted to put this on the mega build. <laughs> what did we call this thing yesterday? Uh, it was called the the full Monty. Yeah, Monty is what we're going to call this guy. So we got the muzzle brake. Let's go ahead and get this guy tuned in and turned out. And all I got to do is I got to bring it around. It's going to be fun. And it pretty much is going to ruin that crush washer, but I'll be right back. All right. Well, if you ever want to know, you see me carrying this big fat wrench or what do you call this thing? Screwdriver around with the tape on it. Yeah, this is what I use to put these uh, type of muzzle brakes on. You just ram it in there and turn it around. Uh, but the electrical or, you know, duct tape protects it. But there you go, man. That is the epitome of a budget upper for three gun and the exciting part about it is seeing if this guy is going to be accurate and i hope it is i probably need to go ahead and pull the handguard off and rotate that uh gas block just a tad bit because it is it's barely enough room in there for this thing to vibrate we'll see how it does it i hope it doesn't mess it up and contact the uh the handguard but that's it okay next up we're going to talk about bolt carry groups we're going to talk about how that affects everything around you. Uh, we're also going to talk about the gas blocks, the tunable gas blocks, and how they relate to, say, for instance, uh, this particular, this is a low mass, uh, what they call the low mass operating system buffer. I really like these things. Uh, they're only about... I think 55, 60 bucks for the set. Very smooth, if you can hear that, versus a mil spec. <laughs> so there's a big difference there. So also we're gonna talk about charging handles in the upcoming video. Guys, if you like that, if it was informative and you wanna see some more stuff on there, the big competition between the economy and the full money is, uh, is gonna be a good one. And I'm looking forward to it at the end of the day, and it's going to be fun. All right, guys, if you thought the video was uh, informative and you like to see more stuff like this, this is what I like to have fun with. I like to build guns. It's 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 enjoyable. It's uh, stress relieving, especially when your kids come out here and they're like, <laughs> they they get involved in your videos. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24/7 for our freedom, because freedom comes. <laughs> in 5.56 five, and sometimes in a little bit of titanium. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out. I gotta go get my daughter something to drink.